Hi, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to number 111 Douglas track in Spewa. This would have to be one of the most beautiful properties that I have seen. And the design, as you can see, the tropical design of this house, it just sits beautifully in amongst about 3.6 acres of stunning gardens. We'd have seen an Asian influence as we came through um, just at the beginning. And all of the gardens are just, they're immaculate and that's what they look like. Uh, sound of water everywhere, it just gives the whole property an absolutely magical feel. Now, if this is what you think you've been searching for, I just can guarantee it's gonna hit you between the eyes and it'll capture your heart. But before we go in and have a look, I want you just to deep breath, relax and start to get a feel for what this stunning property has to offer. This is the most unexpected thing that you would ever expect to find in an amazing tropical home. But I have to say there are very few properties in this part of the world that have or can boast an open fire, a genuine open fire, not a wood burning stove, but an open fire. Beautiful bit of uh, solid, solid, solid wood up top. And oh my goodness, red wine by the fire better not a little bit too early but that smells absolutely divine um, beautiful vintage too but the great thing about open fires in uh, in the tropics is that when we have monsoon rain you can actually have that on you can have all these windows and doors open and you can be sitting over there in that gorgeous day bed that we'll look at in a minute and just marveling at the rain now again this fireplace upstairs we have two open fireplaces um, and a little bit of history we've got 1980 that's actually carved onto the top of the uh, the chimney piece at the top of the roof it's absolutely magical so just i really want you to feel how brilliant that is toasting marshmallows um sitting by your you know, feet up with your flannelette PJs on in the middle of winter. It does get a little bit chilly in the, uh, in the tropics, but what a fantastic, brilliant piece of relaxation.
hard to draw myself away from that fantastic open fireplace. Now, I just want to do a little bit of orientation. Um, the house, as you can see when you came up the stairs, is beautifully open. All the louvers uh, for the windows open, all the bifolds for the doors open, and you have that magic sense of outside coming in. Now, you will never, I almost guarantee, you will never have seen a kitchen this big. We will look at that because I am in love with that kitchen. Um, we have got brilliant open space here, grand piano, um, current owners, are loving the music, classical pianist, and it just goes beautifully with um, the feel and the sense of this property. Now, over here, we have got bedroom. Behind us, we have got a second bathroom. Great big open office, door goes out into the laundry and back patio area and just off to the other side we've got the master wing which has again huge great big walk through uh, for walk and robe and its own bathroom but uh, we just have to start with this kitchen. This is impressive, um, we have got Bit of a story with this kitchen. We've got a Highland um, cooktop, so top of the range appliances, beautiful natural colours, and this whole bench, African mahogany from the Botanic Gardens, and you can just imagine the size of the tree that this came from. Absolutely amazingly, stunningly beautiful. Now, We'll talk about this in a little bit more. We've got a veggie garden um, out the back. And where else are you going to find uh, a property where you don't necessarily have to go to the supermarket to buy your food? We've got celery, we've got pepper, we've got mandarins, we've got comfrey, I think that is. I'm testing me here. Um, we've got radish. We have got fresh eggs from the chickens, we've got beans, and we have got uh, cucumber. All from beautiful crystal clear water running down into the sink. But isn't this just amazing? Have a bit of a quick look and then we're going to head outside to look in and then we're going to have a look at the bedrooms. And this was the day bed that I was talking about at that fire. You can just imagine, <laughs> lie, I'm not going to lie down because it could be embarrassing, um, but just relaxing here, reading a book, the fire's crackling in the background and we have all these windows open, these windows all open up too, and we've got beautiful wide eaves. So you can just imagine the rain coming in there. You could almost lie here and just meditate. And again, you know, with the sound of the running water everywhere on the property, it is just, it's sensational. I get fascinated by all the flowers and the foliage that comes from the gardens. Woo! Around we come. We're going to pass by the central area again. Now, this is an absolutely huge office, um, plenty of storage space, and again, easy access uh, if you want to work from home. But we can come into the master bedroom a couple of different ways. Ta da! This is the back entrance, which is the walkthrough robe. Now, we have got wall to wall mirror here and plenty and plenty of storage. And how would you love to have a bedroom this size? So not only have we got a walkthrough um, discreet uh, walkthrough dressing room, we have got the most big, luxurious bedroom. And of course, we have got windows and doors, and we will have a look at the view in a minute. Um, 
because it is stunning. And about seven o'clock in the morning, the morning sun just filters into the bedroom. So because the property is so quiet and it is so private, um, you waken up to the sound of birds, gentle sunshine and not traffic noise. That is so critical. This is unbelievable lifestyle. Before we go through into the bathroom, I want you just to take a little half a minute and have a look at that view out there. It is just beautiful. I didn't say it was big. We've got a beautiful runoff, so we can. Oh, this is unbelievable luxury. Um, we're not going to get any splashes over there. We've got a beautiful little lip on the floor. And you can maybe even sit and read a book. You could have a glass of champagne. You can chat with your partner or not. Um, this really is an absolutely gorgeous lifestyle bathroom. And of course, lovely big sink plenty of storage, plenty of space, and you're not going to believe this, but just right out there we have a spa bath. As if this is not enough, we're going to have a quick look. I really do hope that you are getting a feel for how um, just relax and sanctuary like this property is. Now, this is again just one little element of uh, water, but if you imagine the lifestyle implications, oh, I shouldn't open the champagne. The red wine was amazingly tempting. You could just imagine again, it's a beautiful, warm, sunny day, but if it was nighttime and you had moonlight and it was either a full moon or part of a moon, but clear crystal skies and stars, best partner in the world, sitting relaxing, misty rain coming down, you can just feel how brilliant that would be. This, again, running water, it's just truly magical. just can't get enough of that fire it's so fabulous just don't touch it Angela we're gonna have a look at the main bathroom brilliantly functional big large and spacious as all of the rooms are in this house and it actually has access out to the garden so you can come in have a shower not get the place dirty and still feel as if you are in a resort it really is again like a sanctuary go on and have a look And this is one of the other huge bedrooms. Again, I keep waving my arms because they really are seriously big and large and airy. Beautiful natural light and these windows, beautiful windows. That's the screens for the windows, so you can sleep with all the ventilation coming through. But the, uh, the bifold or the louver doors are just unbelievably gorgeous. Lovely wood easy slide and of course you've got your own little private deck but let's go upstairs and have a look at that I call it a little fairy room
And look at the character here. We've got, again, wooden elements everywhere that just make it gorgeously organic, wooden floor. Now, this was the other open fireplace that I was talking about, separate from the one downstairs, but obviously slightly smaller, but both all go up through into, uh, into the chimney. But again, look at this room. You've got natural light. These can come up and down. This would have to be one of the most picturesque views you will ever find out of a bedroom window. You can have a look at that in a minute because it's difficult with the, with the light. But little fairy princess area. You can just imagine Airbnb, family, friends, rallies. They would just want to escape to here and never come downstairs. You can see that there's so many different living spaces in this house and again it's you know tropically designed it's styled to just it just blends beautifully you never feel like you're in the house or you know you're out in the garden and that's the house over there it just flows it has an energy and it has a a, a cadence if you like everywhere you look everywhere you stand it just i know i keep going on about this word feel but it is just it's amazing big living area beautiful big open doors um, doors are here obviously the windows and again looking out into the garden how big an entertainment area would you like for your telly or for your music um and of course i said it at the beginning your grand piano really does set the mood of this brilliant brilliant living space we're going to head outside into the garden and we're going to look at the lake this is a gorgeous little lifeline in the middle of the oasis for uh, duck um, wallabies, birds, the wildlife on this property as is in the whole area, uh, we live in the, the, the wet tropics, um, world heritage wet tropics is truly stunning and even at the moment you know you can hear water but you can still hear bird song um, everywhere you go. Now we have a little lake, we can relax on a deck, we have got sun lounges over here, you just imagine kids aunties uncles even yourself jumping in the kayak and going in for for a swim or for a um, just a general play in the water which is just again it's beautiful it goes all the way round and it's actually fed by um, two seasonal um, springs spring creeks and they just flow beautifully up and over and up the other side over here, we have actually got a huge cleared paddock area that uh, used to have a horse on it. There's an old stable up there. And if you were to trim away a couple of trees, uh, there's also the option, I suppose, for a second dwelling. And you would actually have views. It really is quite beautiful. And the little ducks, well, they live in a duck house, which is up the other side of the property that we'll have a quick look at. And that's next to the, uh, the veggie patch. So let's have a quick look around the garden. It is just beautiful. We're just going to head up to the veggie garden, but we have another amazing outdoor fire pit. So family, friends, again in the winter or even in the summer, just for effect, you can imagine just sitting around there and relaxing, eating, drinking, whatever you want to do. And oops, beautiful orchid, this gorgeous rain tree protected in Australia and one of the most amazing shade trees. Um, Again, the gardens are glorious. They're Asian and tropical-like. And oh, there's a swing. 
kids are going to love that. We we're going to head up and have a look at the, the veggie area. Quick look at the, uh, the duck chook house. And then we're going to head over the bridge up onto that cleared area where the um, potential for a horse or animals or a second dwelling with, again, potential views if you um, clip the tops of a couple of trees. So let's go have a look at the veggies. We've got lots of mature fruit trees and again, you know, we, we, we talk about health and, and well-being and you could see from the platter that we had in the kitchen at the beginning, all that fresh fruit, I'm uh, sorry, fresh food came from the garden. So when you've got good soil and it's well looked after, you really can cut your grocery bills and improve your health. You know, green smoothies, fresh veg, fruit dripping off trees we've actually got a mulberry just over here and uh, it's starting to fruit so all those little things again just add to the the, the vibrancy uh, of, of this property it's a little cage here that we can grow tomatoes so that the animals don't eat them when they go red and up and over there we have got our chook or a duck shed so let's go have a quickie and we'll have a look over the bridge Again, beautiful uh, native trees and of course the bird song. But this was the area I was telling you about. It's open, it's cleared. I reckon it would be close to about an acre. And over there, there are the potential for views. You can't see them at the moment because it is so unbelievably private and there are trees. But you could put a horse here. You could put that little second dwelling uh, granny flat subject to council approval. I love that. That has been an original horse stable. Um, one, two, three little bays and it is rustic and it's organic. And you know, you could just keep it there to look at because I just love it. Or you could actually use it for something if you wanted to. This whole area is just, it's just magical. I know that you are going to have loved this tour of 111 Douglas Track in Spiwa. I'm not going to do a big wrap up because you have seen and heard the bird song, you've had a wander around the gardens, uh, you've gotten a feel for how much of a sanctuary and an oasis this property is. You know, 3.6 acres, 100% private. We have got bromeliads hanging from the trees. Uh, we've got beautiful rain trees, open fire, mahogany bench tops, walk-in bathrooms, spas, open fireplaces, outdoor open fireplaces. What more could you wish for? It's just to die for. Unbelievably beautiful. I want to paraphrase the words that uh, the current owner actually uh, said to me the other week and I find them very powerful. Uh, they said that some houses are built just to live in and others are created where you can evolve and thrive. This is one of those properties that is a really profound statement and I think it just it sums up what this property is all about. So give me a call, Angela Martin, 0403 788187. Visit the website, angelamartin.tv. You are going to fall in love with every aspect of this beautiful property. Mm -hmm.